Welcome to ACC Softball coming your way on a beautiful sunny day on the campus of NC State. Virginia Tech is in town to take on the Wolfpack. They have split the first two games of this series. Wolfpack able to take game number one in this really a re rebuilding season. Will be in the uh, lineup as the cleanup hitter and we are underway. First pitch swinging Emma Ritter and how about that? The very first pitch of the ball game leads the yard. Virginia Tech, one of the best home run hitting teams in the nation. Well, and Emma Ritter is one of the double digit home run hitters on this Virginia Tech squad. They are second in the nation in home runs. That's home run number 82 of the year for Virginia Tech. Emma Ritter, that's number 11 for her. First pitch, you know the pitcher's trying to get ahead. She leaves it big right down Main Street and Emma Ritter makes her pay. Drives this ball deep, right center. Able to spray the ball to all fields. That one leaves the yard. Virginia Tech gets on top early. Only Miami, Ohio has just dynamic performance in that two spot. But Emma Ritter says, hey, don't forget me. I'm in the leadoff and I just hit one too. Good swing on that. Diving attempt by Goins out in center field. But look at Green stretch it all the way for a triple. So a home run by Ritter followed by the triple for Green. A triple. 3-1 with Green over on third. Gets it inside for the walk. So all three batters that have faced Insco have gotten on base. Has a hit in 10 of her last 11 games. First year at Tech. She goes after the first pitch and that's smoked down the line. Easily scoring green from third. Coming all the way around from first. Chatfield makes it three to nothing on McMillan's. Gets into that right field corner. She is gonna be legging it out. Sharply hit down the line all the way to the wall. Gives the ability, gives the opportunity for McMillan to get all the way to third. So huge hit, out a hit. Led the team in home runs last year. That's lifted into center field and playable. Goins leaps up to make the catch, but easily McMillan will score from third on the RBI sack fly from Peck. Batting average definitely does better with the ball up in the zone. Got one up in the zone and ripped it into right field. Cam Fagan gets the one out single to keep the inning rolling along. Keep the ball in the park. This game, that has not been successful. Hit right through the three, four hole, bobbled a little bit out there by Ensley and that allows Fagan to take an extra base. We've seen in this series. See State, it's gonna take a while. 2-2, ripped up the middle. Fagan comes in to score, run number five. And they had five if she was still not day-to-day -day with injury. Martin, the pinch hitter, works the one-out walk. First one given up by the reliever, Wyman, and we go back to the... Hitter. Eats it on the ground, it gets under the glove of Lambert. Two more runs cross the plate for Tech. Emma Ritter with three runs driven in already in this game and we're still in the f work through some issues they had last year. Addie Green had a triple and scored her first time up. Ritter takes off to steal second base, but she's down 0-2. This flares that to Left field where it's snatched by Ensley. The throw home, not in time. And Martin scored yesterday in this first inning today. The bats are very lively. And finally, NC State gets out of the inning. Just a 290 batting average but she changes the energy of this team. And so to have her at the top, it gives them a good start with someone who's able to stay disciplined on the zone. Can't catch up with that one, striking out to start the game. Made more into the image of head coach Leftwich as the seasons go on. And there's that change up, nasty. Just impossible. I mean, to be able to be ready for velocity. Now the 3-1, that's ball four, first base runner. 
Klein has gotten behind. And two straight two out walks. Yeah, Grind came into this game with 90 and sometimes the body of Hassler. Another 0-2 pitch, that one gets inside but catches the corner for Grind's third strikeout of the inning. I think fast and that's exactly what the top of the lineup has been. That is absolutely hammered. The trees have just greeted a softball. That was a blast by McMillan. When you talk home runs, you think for Virginia Tech, they are second in the nation in home runs. And when Corey McMillan, that's her 12th jack on the year. A three-run home run over the scoreboard at Louisville. Well, this one is demolished over the scoreboard here at NC State. Yes, it's a shorter porch. However, that one was going to be out no matter what ballpark she was playing in. Yeah, maybe even Yankee Stadium. That thing was just <laughs> this game. They are among the best offensive teams, not just in the ACC, but in the entire nation. 3-0, 4-0. That's well off the glove of Hassler. So one out. Stay in the lineup consistently. Goes after that one. Gloved nicely by Marbury. Got her over to second. Series wins or game wins, but we can celebrate the little things, getting out of tight situations. And full count, strikeout. Last year, an all ACC performer as the starting catcher. And four pitches to draw the walk. Swung on, and that sent into left field. A terrific running catch by Marbury to rob her of a base hit. You're seeing things to be celebrated in catch. Huge second out. And now Ritter sends it to third on the first pitch. She is retired. Virginia Tech gets another run. And has raised that. Up to 250 this season. That one dropped out. Fourth strikeout for Grine, who is knocking on the. Hit on the ground, fielded by Rose, and that is the first non strikeout out of the game. Now a full count with two away and nobody on. Got her. Fifth strikeout of the game. And so. No socks. The forearms. <laughs> it's, looking, it's looking nice and cool there. Fifth, 67 degrees. Way to go, group. That's a leadoff walk. Back behind the dish, you cannot take a pitch off. Hit on the ground, fielded by Goodwin, who throws over, and the runner stays at second base. That's a legit play over there on the hot corner. He's ahead 3-0 and oh. and the first base open. Very careful with her. That's the second walk of the inning given up by Wyman. Don't get the bat off the shoulder when it leaves that early. Peck sends that one into left field and out of the park. Bree Peck with the three-run home run. The third dinger of the game for the Hokies. We talked about Hokey power all the way through the lineups. Before this game started, there were three double-digit home run hitters. Well, with that shot right there, Bree Peck enters the conversation as that is now her 10th home run on the season. Down and in, and she attacks it with the ability to drive it up and out. Typically, drop ball pitchers are hard. That one's too far down. Third walk of the inning given up by Wyman. There's too many free passes. That's the hard part, knowing that you have to be careful around these hitters. <laughs> nice strikeout way to start for the freshman, Feckel. Left mm. right in the middle of the plate. That pitch, that's that's you gotta take it. 
Drive it deep, just like that. Driven that pitch is left big. Into right field, but playable for Ensley to retire the side. Feckel doing a good job, but Brickle. That's lifted out in the right field, and they get their first hit. Lambricht lands one to lead off the third. Eight. Top of the lineup, Ensley goes after the first pitch. Ooh, and that could have been a whoopsie as Rose and Fagan. Well, and that's the difference between. Yeah. On the ground, backhanded nicely by Peck, who sends it over, gobbled up by Shatfield for the second out. We've got to make things happen, knowing that we are going to struggle at the plate at times. Pop up into center field, handled by Ritter. Dude. Yeah, it's crazy the kind of movement. One pitch, one out for Rose, the number nine hitter. That's <laughs> A lot. 2-2 over the glove of Goodwin. Solid single for Ritter to say about her. He's impressed with her work ethic. There she goes again. And Ritter easily strides into third on Green's second hit of the game. A lot of film on you. Sophomore year is when those big hitters do struggle a little bit more because pitchers can build a better game plan against you. Wow, Feckel with some emotion, she two pitches. On the ground to Lambrecht and Feckel. With her swings this year and not just hacking at the ball. But that pitch too hard to lay off of. That is a beautiful low rise that just gets over the barrel of Insco. It's hard. Rise. Knowing the kind of spin rate that these pitchers have, yes, that's exactly what she was saying because the way that the ball moves. And Going to hit three and zero oh and hacks on three and zero oh and a nice running catch out there by Green. One two three inning for Grind. Opportunities this year had just 19 innings under her belt coming into today's game. Peck sends that one. The opposite way, caught right on the warning track by Ensley. Four pitches, that's the first walk surrendered by Feckel. Yeah, first walk by Feckel, but. Two one is popped up. Third baseman Goodwin called off Feckel for the second out. <laughs> Many times to get that. 0-2, hit on the ground, Feckel. High throw, but it's handled by Tarpley to retire the side. Fagan is stranded. Series, and then the loss here at NC State. Full count to Goodwin to lead things off here in the fifth. That's hit well into right field, but not well enough. It is. Way. Great piece of hitting. It did find a glove, but that's a good hit right there. Pop up by Tarpley. And this time the shortstop makes the play. Not called off by a. Them to rise to the occasion. In the air, foul territory, and a nice play by Fagan. There's your second baseman ending the game as Fagan goes all the way over into foul territory. And for the second straight game, Virginia Tech has. Do as they head through the rest of the ACC schedule. NC State find the little victories and continue to build because this program is only going up. So Virginia Tech wins it by the final of 12-0. They take this series two games to one.